Can I tell you a little bit about how hormones are involved in pregnancy? Sure. My name is Michelle Collins. I'm a certified nurse midwife and professor of nursing at Vanderbilt University. Well, hormones in our bodies are sort of like chemical messengers. They're produced in one part of the body, but they carry a message in another part of the body or tell another part of the body what to do. A part of the brain called the hypothalamus um, produces a hormone called gonadotropin releasing hormone, which stimulates the pituitary gland to release something called follicle stimulating hormone, which in turn tells the ovaries to produce a follicle, hence the name follicle stimulating hormone. Follicle development then generates estrogen production, which causes what's called an LH surge or luteinizing hormone. The luteinizing hormone then causes the follicle after about 36 hours to release the egg. The cells of the corpus luteum uh, then cause estrogen and progesterone which to be produced, which estrogen and progesterone are sort of like the yin and yang of pregnancy. Estrogen causes the building up of the lining of the uterus so that the fertilized egg has somewhere to implant. Um, whereas progesterone kind of quiets the uterine muscle and keeps everything settled so that the, the uterus can allow for the pregnancy to be implanted. When no, no fertilized egg implants, as the corpus luteum diminishes, there's no uterine hormone support for pregnancy, so the lining of the uterus sheds, which is your menstrual period, and the cycle starts all over again.